At Delta, we've been studying uh, hen houses since 1991, using our student research program to really learn about their effectiveness. The original design was a flax straw design in the roll, and we've, we've tried to reduce maintenance, because one of the big issues with hen houses, of course, they're fun to build and install, but we have to maintain them to be effective for ducks. So we've tried, tried a few different designs. Uh, we've tried some uh, plastic ones, we've tried wicker weave ones, we've tried artificial turf. And unfortunately, those designs are just not used at the same rates as the original flax design. So we're, uh, we're real excited about the design that we have now. It's essentially the original design minus the landing platforms, and it's real simple to do. There's, there's three basic components of hen houses. The first one is the base pipe, which we use uh, typically an eight foot long pipe but if you have uh, deeper water conditions, you might want to go to a little longer, say a 10 foot piece. And uh, we use an inch and a half diameter uh, square tubing for that with uh, one hole drilled in it. The second component of hen houses are the insert piece that is made up of uh, four different pieces of metal. The first one is a 30 inch long, one inch diameter square tube that forms the actual piece that slides into the base pipe. The second piece is an 18 inch long piece of one inch diameter square tubing that forms the top of the T that supports the two next pieces which are quarter inch rods that are 20 inches long, two of those and that gets welded onto the 18 inch piece to form the actual cradle and complete the insert piece. The third component of the hen house is the roll itself where the mallards make their nest. We use a, a seven foot by three foot wide wire mesh that's uh, two, two inches by one inches in diameter and a 16 gauge wire. We don't want to use something smaller than 16 gauge or chicken wire because that will easily collapse if a goose stands on it or a heron stands on it. So we have to use something strong enough to withstand that. Now that wire will, will eventually be rolled so that the duck can nest in it. And inside the roll itself will be flax straw, is what we use in the prairies. But you can also use, if you're elsewhere in the continent, you can use Timothy or Bermuda grass. On the inside, where the actual duck will lay her eggs, uh, we use grass hay. Typically up here in the prairies, we are using brome grass for that. And the only other things that you'll need to complete your hen house will be a handful of hog rings, say 8 to 12, and uh, either a bolt to put in to fasten the base pipe to the insert piece, or preferably a clip that wraps around it. As far as tools go to build hen houses, there, it's basically a pretty simple process. To do the base pipe, you're going to need to have a half inch drill bit to drill through that base pipe so you can connect the insert piece. So you'll, you'll use that half inch drill bit to cut a hole in both the base pipe as well as a couple places on the insert piece. As far as the insert piece goes, you're gonna need to also have a welder. So you're gonna have a few spot welds to weld the, the T itself and then also to weld the two cradle pieces onto the top of the T. For the roll itself, you're gonna need to have wire cutters to cut the ends off the wires and you're gonna also have to have a hog ring uh, pliers to apply the hog rings. Other than that, that uh, that's all you need for uh, tools for the job. Hi, I'm Kevin Ward, and I worked uh, with Delta Waterfall for many years. In fact, I'm the third generation with Delta Waterfall, my grandfather and father before me. And uh, for the last several winters, I've been making hundreds and hundreds of these hen houses. <laughs> So today, I'm going to show you how to make one of these hen house rolls. To build a hen house, it's a simple three-step process. The first step is to ready the base pipe. Now, of course, we're recommending an eight foot long base pipe that's an inch and a half in diameter, and we prefer the square tubing. Now with that, what you want to do is you want to go eight inches down from the top and drill a half inch diameter hole right through both sides of the pipe. Now while we recommend the base pipe, the one pipe to provide the support for the hen houses, others have used a tripod design that has a smaller diameter 
10 foot long conduit using three pieces of that to form a tripod. And those are, those are uh, potentially beneficial in areas where the bottom is, the substrate on the bottom is extremely hard if you have a really rocky or, or uh, stony bottom. The tripod might be a, might be a better design and, and they are a little bit cheaper uh, of an alternative to the base pipes. The second step of building a hen house is to build the insert piece. And that's four pieces of metal that will be welded together in the end. And the first step is to take your 30 inch long piece and to drill two holes into that. And so that allows you some latitude to raise and lower the hen house as required depending on how, how the water levels are throughout the years of the life of the hen house. So approximately I drill a hole from the bottom up about six inches and then again at 18 inches to give you that latitude. Now the second one is to take and, and bend the 20 inch long quarter inch rods to form a cradle that will essentially hold the roll of the hen house in, into place. And so you want to shape those the same as the roll and after you've done that now you're into welding. And so you're going to take your 18 inch long piece put it on top of the 30 inch long piece and spot weld that into place. After you've done that, then you take your 20 inch long cradle pieces and spot weld those onto the end of the 18 inch pieces. And that essentially forms the cradle piece for the hen house and that will slide inside the base pipe and provide a place, a secure place for the, the roll itself. Now this insert piece is, is the most solid design that we've come up with and, and we're, we're strongly recommending that you go with that, that welded design. But if you don't have access to a welder, you can, you can certainly use other things to, to get these things mounted onto the base pipe. And uh, we've used uh, boards in the past and you can use plastic tie straps to connect the board to the roll. Uh, but there is problems with those boards because they will, they will deteriorate over time. And then you also, on the bottom of that, to connect the board to the base pipe, you can use a, fl a threaded flange or you could use an, a, a 90 degree bent piece of steel to provide that support. But again, you better make it, make it as strong as possible in order to, to last for a long time. The third step of building a hen house is to make the roll itself. Now this is the most critical part of, of the whole process because we want to make sure we provide those hand mallards with a great place to nest. So the, the, the main component here is a seven foot by three foot long piece of welded wire. And uh, what you do is you take, take that and stretch it out and roll the first end up and then hog ring that with three or four hog rings at 34 inches. So that essentially creates the inside diameter of your roll. Now with the remaining roughly four feet, you want to take and spread two inches of materials throughout that whole four foot section. So in here in the prairies where we have flax straw, this is where you put the flax straw down or you can use Timothy or Bermuda or whatever else you might have handy. So then you take and, and continue to roll the structure at the same time and roll that two inch material and sandwich that between the two rolls of wire. So that essentially finishes up the outside part of the roll itself and then of course you put hog rings on to secure that part of the roll. Now the inside diameter it's important that you don't go any bigger than 12 inches in diameter because you'll have Canada geese that will get into them and of course we're really focusing this effort on mallards so we don't want to have it any bigger than that. Now the probably the most critical part of the whole process of building a hen house is to put plenty of leafy grass vegetation inside. So we like to fill them at least two-thirds full of up here in the prairies again we use brome grass but again you can use timothy or other soft grass grassy material that mallards would normally be nesting in in your area. And so fill it, be, be generous with that nesting material because hen mallards will never carry nesting material to the nest. So we put that and provide them with a great place for them to to build a nest bowl inside the hen house. And again, we have to be cognizant that we have to be putting this in every year. So we're going to want to come back each and every year and maintain these structures and put that same grass material inside as well as replacing any stuff that's gone from the roll itself. 
So that concludes the simple process of building a hen house and our next video will be showing you how to install them.